like as soon as I hit record, the opening theme song <laughs> started playing in my head. Hey everyone, Jeffrey here. Today I am about to watch the season three trailer for The Mandalorian. Before I get into it though, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. It helps the channel out so very much and lets me grow this wonderful community of ours. Oh my, oh my, I, we got that, I guess it was considered a teaser before. I don't know if it was considered a trailer, but at any rate, the preview <laughs> we got before didn't really show too much other than it, it you know set the tone it let us know it's coming back but it didn't really tell us anything about story so that is the one thing i'm hoping we get hints at because i don't want spoiled i love going into stuff blind especially when it's stuff or typically when it's stuff i love you know like the mandalorian like a marvel movie that i've been following for so long and in this case i just want a little just give me a little, t just, just, just a little, just a little. March is right around the corner. I don't want too much. And I'm thinking that's what we're going to get here. So I'm going to stop talking now and watch this thing. <laughs> Join me, would you? Our people are scattered like stars in the galaxy. What are we? What do we stand for? The He's going to start reuniting them. Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. That way, <laughs> oh, that was about the cutest You'll thing. never be lost. That place is bustling. Forgiven for my transgressions. May the force be with you. This is the way. There's something dangerous happening out there. Where is that? And by the time it becomes big enough for you to act, it'll be too late. Oh, oh, what? What, 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 what? Hang on, kid. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god! That, that is what I wanted. Oh my goodness, I am so freaking excited now. It's getting so much bigger. It is getting so, so much bigger. I, that, and I think they tease that a bit when they've talked about it in the past, is this one's gonna get even bigger than previous seasons. And I kind of took that as a grain of salt, to be honest, because it, it just sounds like a little bit of hype. You know, ah, uh, you gotta talk up the new season, make it sound like it's gonna be bigger than the last, yada, yada. No, I, I believe them now. I very much believe them now. I. Okay, we we got a flashback. We got a flashback. I wonder if that's going to be more about Grogu. Uh, it it kind of has to be, I think, at this point. It looked like that was an Order 66 moment, so that makes me think that we're going to finally start learning more about Grogu. I have my own theories on Grogu. I tend to think that he was captured during Order 66. Uh, there's really no evidence to say that he was free. <laughs> In fact, I, I think it always looks more like he was imprisoned the entire time after order 66 happened which also somebody brought up the clone theory that uh that grogu might be a clone and i i'm coming around on that theory too because it would make sense that in my head let's just put it this way in my head the the story for grogu at this point is that grogu was the first jedi that was ever cloned successfully or force user i should say and the empire wanted to hold on to him they took him during Order 66 because they wanted to experiment on him, which they did. When the Empire fell, they lost track of him because the, everything got scattered and mishandled. And, you know, years later, you've got these Imperial remnants who are trying to track him down. Enter Din. That, that, that's my theory anyway. Right now, it could change wildly with the season, obviously, <laughs> especially if that is a flashback. I did not expect to see lightsabers. I really did not expect to see lightsabers in that trailer. 
the other thing that I, I, I am so happy with is they are making reference to maybe Den is going to start, you know, uniting some disparate Mandalorians together, please, and thank you. I really want that to happen in this series. I really think that in this series we are looking at Den becoming the Mandalorian. He's going to become Mandalore. I really think that's where we're headed at this point. And I think his journey to Mandalore to to uh, earn his redemption for taking his helmet off, I think that is such BS. I, I, mm, he doesn't need to do that. He is more Mandalorian than the armor ever will be. But I think him going to Mandalore, trying to earn that redemption or whatever, uh, I, I think that is what's going to ultimately lead to him actually reuniting the Mandalorian people, that taking all these factions that are running around out there and or clans really and bring them back together under one banner and possibly even taking Mandalore back. Now that is the question in my mind right now is is anybody even ruling the planet or is it just a wasteland? It could just be a wasteland at this point that nobody really lives on except for a few pockets here and there. So if that's the case, maybe he's going to be the catalyst to bringing the Mandalorians home. In either case, I think that's really going to be the situation. That trailer led me to believe that. Oh, and I have to address the Coruscant in the room. Oh, it looked so good. It looked so good. I'm always happy to see Coruscant anymore. Uh, we got it in Andor, which I was thrilled with. I wasn't expecting to see it in Mandos this season. We obviously are. And it was the uh, geneticist that we saw. So I'm thinking... Because at the end of the last season, he was captured by them, by Den and the group. So my guess is he's been taken back to Coruscant and they've been interrogating him about what's been going on. So at this point, he's pretty much flipped and joined the Republic. And I, I, I kind of saw that from this guy. He really didn't seem to like the people he was working for before. So makes sense to me. Oh, so much happened in that trailer. I would almost have to frame by frame it to remember and catch it all it's just crazy tie fighters tie fighters were chasing a mando shuttle i don't know if that was den i don't know if that was somebody else but it was definitely chasing a mandalorian shuttle or ship whatever you call it fighter through a chasm what <laughs> oh my oh my <sighs> cannot wait cannot wait march march we are so Freaking close. I cannot wait. All right. What did you think of this trailer? Leave your comments below. Did you catch something I didn't mention here? I'm sure you did. Uh, are you more hyped, less hyped, right at the right level of hype? Do you have a theory on where Grogu came from and possibly even where he's going? Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe like I mentioned at the beginning. And before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.